Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. I'm Wandering Newbie, and I'm still sick. Well, I guess this is the first video of the I'm Sick series, so it's going to go up. So yeah, I'm sick. That's why I may sound funny. Today we're doing 4-3, but on a new game run. Just to show off a couple of things. Mainly to show off how you would normally do this. What you really want to do is just book it over to where the storm ruler is. Don't even bother with any of the manta rays. I mean, I guess you could take out a bow and start shooting them, but it's probably not worth it. So that's just what I do. God, you think I remember that that little waist high thing was there. There we go. Now let's just hide behind a rock and equip the sword. And from here until the end of the video, it's just going to be a lot of me swinging the storm roller. Not really much else to this. It's a very easy boss. The hard part is just getting over to where the storm roller is. But the nice thing is, if you notice by the amounts of souls that we are getting, this is a very good fight for farming. In fact, if you come back here even after you kill the Storm King, all these Storm Beasts are still here. So... Two for one! So, this is actually a really good place to come to, to farm. Once you've killed enough of them, I always suggest running up here and hiding behind this building, as I stated in the main video. Actually didn't get there in time before the boss spawned. The reason for this, as again I stated in the main video, you cannot be hit from behind here. Another good thing to note about the storm ruler is that the slash goes through walls. So if you have the general idea where a storm beast or the storm king is, you can just swing at that general area and hit it. Like this. I wasn't locked on, but I knew where that one was and I just changed my direction and swung at him. Now, the reason why I didn't use the storm ruler at all in the main video except for a quick demonstration is because if you look here at how little damage well at the amount of damage that the storm ruler is doing only 125 uh, that doesn't go up that's not based on stats that is a flat amount of damage that the storm ruler does for new game pluses when the storm king starts getting more and more health that's when they expect you to have some sort of ranged attack to fight him. They're just like, well, I guess you should have something else and not rely on this because this is actually a pretty shitty weapon. It only takes about, let's see, yeah, I'd say about 10 swings of the Storm Roller to kill the Storm King. So, you know, your mileage may vary. Once all the storm beasts are dead though, I like to move out. And there I had to check the weight of the storm roller because I'm like, seriously this thing is like 6 pounds? That's crazy. Such a shitty weapon. I'm trying to burst this thing down, but the storm roller swing uses up so much stamina. And you can actually, if you do an attack, you can actually go into negative stamina, as you see right here. Like, it takes me really long for my bar to show up again. And here I'm just testing a few things. I'm like, 
Does the R2 do the same thing? Yeah, it does. I'm just curious. And here I decide to just step it out and get shot. But down goes the Storm King. And that's it for our new game highlights pretty much. The Storm War is the easiest path to go. It's always the option that's there. You can, however, use uh, ranged attacks, magic bows. It, you're not stuck on the Storm War. It's just that's the option that is there for everyone. Um, but that's it. I'll see you guys in the video on Sunday.